Hey Realm Walkers, I am Serdus Orbis, and I hope you're having a terrific day today. And if you're having a terrible day, definitely come and hang out, because here there's nothing terrible. This is episode 29 of Stranded Among the Realms, which is an extreme difficulty playthrough of Nightingale. And in this episode, we're continuing our questline to get into the Watch. And although, as you can see, we're in a Hunt Realm, we're actually only going to be here for a little while. We're not actually going to do very much in here. Whatever cross our path, maybe we'll do it. But otherwise, we're just trying to get to an Elder Iota. Actually, instead of talking about it, let's just get into it. Okay, so the first task... I mean, okay, so if you're looking for the Elder Iotan, you could look here for the three different legendary creatures, but it doesn't mean it's going to be the Elder Iotan. You'll notice that all three of them are moving. Maybe not this one. So maybe this might be the Elder Iotan? But the point is, if you want to find it, cast Track Legend. Now which... Now, assuming it's in the northwest, then uh, the, the pointer should go that way. Huh, it's pointing us southwards. Maybe it wants us to meet this one? That's not good. Oh, we are hungry. And by the way, I've moved the food off of the hotbar since since there's no more death chests, we don't have to worry about losing our food if we die, uh, which was really the only fear I had. And so instead I filled up the hotbar with... Oh, that's that's way too many potions. Um, instead of, I filled the hotbar with potions. Potions and healing stuff. I, I made a stack of five of these, these sprinter's potions, not realizing that, well... It makes 5 each. I just didn't think about it. So now we have too many. You know what? Let's drink one of these things. We've got a ton of them. There's a hope thing over here. Uh, I do want to read this, but not right now. In fact, I'm actually planning something. Um, I'm planning a Nightingale lore series. So, and we'll be reading all those in that series. So definitely catch that once it comes out. I, By the time you watch it, it may, may already be out. But it's definitely not out as I'm recording it. So, keep an eye out. There it is, it's way over there. I think that's a bear? We might have to kill a bear. Tis indeed a bear. Which I missed. Not sure how I missed that. Oh boy. That has a lot of hit points. Shit. 
the rain coming up is not helping. Really? Okay, first off, the fact that he can turn around in like mid swing is bullshit. Oh, how's that done? That's okay, okay, that's bullshit. Fuck off here. First, the fact that he's able to like turn around in the middle of a swing. Like that is nonsense. See what I mean? We passed him. We passed him. And he's still aiming for us. That's um, a lot of bullshit. Get off, dude. Again, turning in mid swing is bullshit. Thanks, Gary, for taking the shot. Cheater bear. It really didn't help that it was fucking raining. Okay, where are we going? There's our tree. Um, where's your um, where's your thingy? Oh, there's your thingy. Hello, thingy. 
Have one of that, please. Thank you very much. If I had two to give you, I would give you two. Okay, is there anything else we can do while we're here? Oh. Hey. How you doing? Quite the scavenger Miss Bly has made of you. You've missed my guidance, though. Understand that should word of our interactions reach the ears of other Fae, Astroth would rip us from reality. The risk, however, must be taken, for I come to lay rumors to rest. The Winter Court indeed burns to restore Wintertide. Their Gelid Majesty, Byra of Baalbreth, had been imprisoned, frozen to her own throne. Now she longs to escape her crystalline slumber. But why should I care, Robin? Earth's arcane histories assigned the Snow Queen the loving moniker, Byra the Baleful. She brooks not mankind's presence in the realms. And like this puck, Byra will not heed Astaroth's decree. I know not their plans, but there's time yet. For with their queen's absence, the court's power has dwindled. A fay without arbiter is like a human without heart. Phenomenal. So, at some point, we're going to get a snow biome, or ice biome, or a frigid tundra biome. biome. Who knows? Well, we are definitely going to be facing off against the winter court. How many trees are there? One? Just the one. One blue tree, huh? Oops. That's not what we want. I definitely want to explore here, but today is not that day. We have a quest to do. So we should just let's just get back and complete that. Hello, puppers. Barky bark, yes, indeed. Oh, thanks. Thank you, thank you. I definitely want to expand this. I want to pop these two out, these two floors, and then pop that one floor out. So that the walls go here, here, and here. Make a little storage nook, and then separate these out into their own little mini rooms. I don't know how to explain what I want to do, but that's kind of the gist of it. Okay, what do we want to do? We want to put our stuff away. That goes here, I guess. What's that good for? Um, that's a lot of stealth. Health regen, max health. Wow, that's that's phenomenal. Inter interesting that it doesn't have magic power like the regular Yoden Heart does. Hmm. Hmm. Curious. We'll put that here, next to our mist barrier. Okay, now we gotta go back and talk to Danu. Do some tasks for her, and... Oh wait, you know what? 
Let's put some of this away. We don't need all 24. I think I keep trying to go this way. <laughs> Let's see if we need to actually go that way. Okay, we need to open up a swamp room now. I think this should still be swamp room. Nope, it isn't. Let's uh, reopen it. Alright. Back into the swamp. Ooh, we should grab some trees while we're here. Also, northwest. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's get those trees first. There's really only one tree. Okay. Really, can't get over a rock. Oh no, there's a bug. Oops, wasted that. Ah, uh, there's two more. Nice. Oh my... How? Is that... Is this one it? Oh no. Well. We wasted it. <laughs> okay, I think we got plenty. Let's move on to our goal, which is talk to Danny. Northwest. How you doing, Danu? Let's uh let's have a little chat. Um speak with Danu. Oh right, we still have those to do. Whew, uh, okay. Um I had forgotten about that. So the quest itself says we can do it in any realm. But, I mean, we're here. We may as well do it here. So we can just return to Danu once we're done. Let's get the uh, soaring. We could get power, but no. Nah. That's a waste of time. Let's go look for our next one. Pirates.
Where is this? That's one. Probably the one inside's uh, number two. Yep, yep, yep. Chandelier. Let's go get that glowy. Sconce. I do like me some sconces. Uh, back to Daniel. Northwestish, that way? This direction. Where's the essence trader? That's right, just south of Daniel. Let's talk to her afterwards. So there's just one spot right in front of Danu that is not diseased, which is funny. I think it should be this entire area where she lives, as opposed to just the tiny spot, but that's just my opinion. The tune it went winsome for a moment, then quieted to a satiated hum. Was this at your hands, little one? I'm unsure. Some notes played when I solved this fey puzzle. I knew I could hear it, a good crackling inside you, that warbling ember in your chest. Thank you, little realm walker. We all need a helping hand once in a while. If only more of your tribe felt that way. Yep, I can appreciate that, that is definitely true. Ah, it's been so loud for so long, when you dulled the tune it emptied the air. Now I sense where the song I follow resides. Shall I collect it and move on? How does one collect music? I tend the realms, harvesting the lost notes, shards of our shattered home. As with the matriarch's past, I am destined to recompose our requiem. So you intend to leave? Leave? No. This realm's need of me lingers, and so does yours, little one. I hear, clearly now, there is other music in you. A song unfinished, your future uncertain. You have eased my mind, let me ease your path. Do you know anything about the sun giants? Sky followers, why? I don't plan to kill one, so I won't be saying that. Um, a sun giant article can help me reach the place known as the watch. The watch? Um, a sanctuary for humanity after the calamity. So much changes so quickly. Sorrows bloom like summer bulbs. I too know of loss, unimaginable loss, by fey hands. Tell me, how was your home disappeared? The pale mist, you must have heard. The pale? Hmm, yes, though it's been ages since I heard tell of its reaching fingers. Even the Fae know not its origins, but some courts manipulate it to their wills. You think Fae are responsible for destroying my world? 
Hmm, maybe. Maybe. The Court of Hearts splintered my home. The Grendel's realm, piece by piece, scattered about far and wide like glass, so we could never retrieve all the shards. Now there are so few of us left. Life in eternal Hiraith is no hard life at all. So it concerns us because, you know, Puck just came to us saying, oh, here's here's the Winter Court. They're, they're trying to get their power back, and they hate humans. Then you talk to Danu, who now says, well, hold on. It's possible that Fey are after you. Perhaps the Winter Court. Perhaps. I'm not convinced yet. They may have a hand in something to do with all this. But we'll see. We'll see. What concerns me is my return. Will you help me retrieve this article? Hmm. You require some gim gimcrack possessed by the Sky Fathers. I need to acquire a Pelucidic etched ingot. Pelucidia. Oh, yes. Not solid, not liquid. Or like the reflecting sea surface. My ancient cousins always cherished fey materials. Metals. Pelucidia is a gay ass for them, enchanting and foreboding all at once. Tales are told of men who try to snatch it from Skyfaller's cement clement dens. It's much too difficult for human beings to mine. Are the Sun Giants very dangerous? Fire falls when they call it, care to call it forth, violent as any torment magic. But brutes they are not. They step with long, careful strides. If you be no danger to them, they be no danger to you. How might I obtain what I need from them? In worlds past, when my kind and theirs struggled to survive, exchange rituals were held, a sharing of wisdom and goods alike to open new doors. That sounds very civilized. A mutual gift giving eases the struggle that comes from enormity to respect what was and apprehend what will be. Not easy, no, but I understand humankind to be skilled artificers and what my cousin's fancy can be forged. A curio configuration. How do you know so much about the Skyfallers? It is believed that Grendels and Skyfallers were once bloodkin, too many cycles ago to count. There was a split. My half went towards the mire, their half towards the sun. Still, we maintain relations, meeting sometimes in the middle. What is this configuration? None but them know its purpose, not for certain. Skyfaller Dawnborns make these curios from fey parts which their offspring scavenge across the realms. How do they make something so delicate with hands so large? Hmm. It is thought that Skyfallers were given life by fairy links, and so they maintain that these curios ensnare fey spirits. Whether to worship or ward off their makers is unknown. How do I make this offering properly? As you would make anything else with deep care. Here. My cousins are complicated, but simple, as are most things. Many of men mistake their simplicity for stupidity. Untrue. Do you understand now why I distrusted you? Humans only hear the music that matters to them. Even this trade you seek varies me, yet I sympathize with your cause. Return to me when your hands have done the work. I will inspect the, the configuration for authenticity. I'll be back. Basically, she wants to make sure that you haven't tampered with it, nor to harm anyone. Looks like it's nap time. 
Again, I think there's something wrong with the timings of the server. It was basically mid-morning when we first started. Like when we first went through that portal, it was probably 10 or 11 a.m. And coming back, it was nighttime. Yeah, something's weird. Something's weird. Okay, so we gotta make the ritual curio configuration with a macabre rack. We could use Danu's cauldron, but um, Danu's cauldron is gigantic. Look at this thing. Where would you put this? And it's just decoration, right? It's just... Yeah, no. So we're going to put the Hema Cab Rack instead, because that's much, much better. Where are you at? Where are you at? There we go. <laughs> See how much smaller that is? Yes, sorry. And it affects all of these, huh? Two bones and one lumber, two twine. Okay. Oh. Let's put away all our stuff first before we do any of this. Really? You had no granite before? Oh, it's carved stone. Ew. Two bones, one lumber, two twine. Right. So we need a cut gem, plant fiber, and a precious metal etched ingot. Huh. Do we already have one? Ah, uh, okay. It's fine. Let's do... Let's use this copper. Although, actually, wait, 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 wait. Before we use the copper... How much copper do we have? Oh, we got plenty. We got plenty of copper. So... How much tin? We got plenty of tin, so we can still keep making, uh, bronze. Do we have any nickel? Okay, lots of that, so we can make brass. Um... How much silver do we have? 30. We're gonna need more of that. But that can wait. So yeah, let's make copper. Also, we need cut gem. Let's use that one. And one plant fiber, which could just be crude.
Okay, do we need ball bearings? Um, I think we do. How much shimmering ore do we have? 85? How much tin? We have a ton of this. So let's make... Let's grab 20... Yeah, it's gonna take a while. What do we have in here? Two? Yeah, that's not going to do us a lot. Hmm. I suppose we could temporarily make some out of shimmering ingots, but we're not in any rush. All right, is our is our distal open? Let's. We need food, so we have to make some food first. Um, which is good because we need to spend less time hopping between realms. If you'll notice, there's there's been some problems with people. Like, so their their companion will have repeated recruits. Like they'll have recruitable. Imagine there were five carries sitting here with one that's recruited and four that's recruitable um, and that's a result from people hopping in and out of their abeyance realm really really fast and the best way to stop that from happening is to just take your time right don't don't be in a hurry to leave like don't just come here drop off stuff and then leave because that will cause stuff to go weird if that makes sense like, think of it this way, the, the server in the back end, it autosaves every, say, 15 minutes. And if you leave before that 15 minutes, then it won't save. Or it'll use your previous save when you come back. So, and I don't know if it's 15 minutes or not, that's just an example. But basically, spend some time in your abeyance, you know, do stuff. And come back to the adventure later. You don't need to rush things. Anyway. Let's make food. Wait, first of all, what do we want to make? Uh, fish cutlets. Stew. And salad, as usual. I wish we had a better salad. Because I'd like it for it to have 1260 duration. Like the cutlet and the stew does. Okay, anyways, let's make some food. Let's make tuber, mistberry. Or do we do Saskatoon? Yeah, no, let's just do this. Let's do tuber. Wait, we're gonna need 10 of them, aren't we? I've already forgotten. Nope, nope, we're gonna need. No, this, this is fine, this is fine. Okay, jeez, having problems. We're also going to need 10 tomatoes. What do we pair them up with? Shiitake? Okay, now let's make some salads out of this. Uh, what we need is... Not Delphinium, but Chamomile. Let's 
That's going to be it for our salads. Oh, we're going to need broth. Bearings, please. Thirty. Okay, let's grab some fish real quick. Which one do we use? Uh, prismatic pupfish. Health, health regen. Rainbow trucks. Rain fires as well. It doesn't really matter. They're all basically the same. So, I mean, not truly, but for our purposes, was this just to get fed? Grab these. Um, we're gonna let some delphinium for this. Oops. Nope. We're gonna have to debone that first. Okay, meat. Uh, tier three meat. Here. And we'll use delphinium in them again. If only we could reliably get onion powder or onion spice, that'd be perfect. Wait, oh, I used the wrong salad. No. That was foolish. That's okay. The steaks are okay. But we are going to have to make more tomatoes now. What do we use? Shiitake? Let's put this tomato salad away because we don't need that. Um, wait a minute. Where's. Oh, it's right here. I'm like, where's our potatoes? This one. Use this one. We're also gonna need uh, chamomile. Would mean for broth, bones, oil, spice. What do we use? Sunflower oil or chaparral trout oil? Let's use chaparral. Let's try it out. I mean, we've got plenty of it, so we may as well. Hello. Broth, please. Delphinium? Delphinium.
Ooh, I wonder if that will stack. Because we used... We used Delphinium in the raw meat and in the broth. So I wonder if that's stacking or not at all. I'll have to test that and see if that's true. Two. Only two? Oh, we need to make, um... We need to make tomatoes. Tomato salad. Or tomato mixed plants. That's right. I suppose we could test it now, right, by making a different kind of broth. So let's try that. So we used... Predator bones, right? Shit, I've forgotten already. Let's use... The same. Chaparral trout oil. And use... Let's see. I could use tea. But let's put in chamomile, because that's an obvious difference. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, it doesn't increase the health regen, so it's it knows that. Um, because if it, if we were if Delphinium was getting added twice, then that health regen would increase. Because it's forty percent versus fifteen percent, as you see, it's it's not, so it's already counting it properly. Okay, okay, that's fine, that's cool. Uh, now we know. So, like, you probably noticed that Carrie here was putting firewood in there. It's because I made her a little basket where she can store whatever stuff she picks up, and we can put wood in there, and she'll automatically pick up stuff in here. Oh, if you set this to survivors. That way she'll do this instead of putting whatever really good wood you have on her by accident in the fires. It just helps. It helps with in, uh, management. Take a quick nap. Let's get back out there. Let's talk to Danu. Huzzah! Back to our friend. Which, where, where, where was she? Northwest. That away. Okay. Oh, wait, before we go on our travels, we need to have a snack. Spider. We're just here to talk to Earl, but looks like giant guys like keeping the spider away. Sorry, he's Grendel, not just giant guy. 
Sorry to call you giant guy, giant guy. Okay, um... <laughs> Do we have anything here? I think we missed something. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Shack. Shackity shack. Oh, ooh, a metal frame cock. Nice. Vile display. Cool. But we should have everything so far. Should we kill that? That was probably a mistake. I didn't mean it. <laughs> nope. Where's... Where's the heart shot? Why can't we get the heart shot? Why is it bugged out? Where is the heart shot? And why is it not doing anything? I know these things have a heart thing, because we hit it before. Carrie, I know, I know you love them all, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to experiment. You can the legs. I think that's the problem. Like its legs are protecting it. Also, it was a bug. It was a bug bug. And, um... I don't know. I'm not gonna say no to a free kill, though. Hey, hey, you down here. Your chest ember plays a hitham. Hitham. Let me try that again. <laughs> Your chest ember plays a hymn that flutters on the gales. You have handmade a curio then. Show me. Hmm. Yes, this is like enough to their own. I feel yesterday is locked in its center. A fine offering it will make. As long as it saves me from fighting giants. It is good to see patience placed in creation. Making peace with my sunbound kin is demanding, even for me. But perhaps, with yet another world lost, understanding can be found. You brought me one step closer to home. Not Earth, but home. Even though you are still very small, I see now a bit of Brendel in you. Are you sure no moss grows on your hind? Oh, I'll have to inspect it next time in private. Hmm. A human Grendel, that would be a sight. I wonder if this is, um, foreshadowing for something. If we find ourselves in the same plane again, be no stranger. I should enjoy hearing your chest's melody again. I hope you find your song. Farewell, Daddy. Okay. Okay, let's get some trees. Oops. Thought I had a knife there. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Whoops, what am I doing? That tree was like, fuck you, man. You're gonna chop me down, I'm gonna fuck you up. I 
I ain't going down quietly. I'm taking you with me. We did try. It did a lot of damage. Okay, is there anything we can do while we're still here? Or do we just leave? We talked to the essence trader. Uh, occupations? We don't need to do any occupations. Um, I think we're good. We could crawl the uh, western side of this swamp or look for more stuff to mine. But we're good. We're good. Let's go back to the respite. Ah. It just looks so comfortable. Like, this layout looks so comfortable. And then the, like, upstairs, it's just phenomenal. What were we doing? Right. Right. We're doing this. So we now have all three parts, right? So we should go do that. First, let's drop off all our junk. Oh, wait, no. We need to go... Is this? Oh. Okay, what do we have here now? This, this, this. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And a charm of the naiad, which we don't really need. Okay, we're actually far from doing anything. We still have to turn in the heart. We can turn in. No, we just get the sun giant first. That's right. Duh. Of course. Of course. That's gonna be pretty easy. Uh, let's go into the desert. Oh, but well, we need to spend time in here. Um, could tend to the garden. It is raining. Okay, let's do that. Do we have a charm of bounty? We do. Let's apply that to our watering can. Okay, hopefully that helped get us a bunch of stuff. Uh, chamomile first.
Okay. I think now we're ready. Ooh. We can't be going around to the desert with a watering can in our hot bar. That would be foolish. Doing okay, Pop? Put in a desert hunt. Here we go. Cablamo. Quite a gorgeous little desert we got here. Ooh, gold. Too bad we can't get gold yet. But we do need some silver, so let's grab some silver while we're here. Then we'll go on our sun giant. Ooh. Okay, nope, nope, run. Running. Yeet. Look at how much hit points it has. Carrie and her mall is just the best thing ever. Chill out, dude. Chill out. Is this a... Uh, I think... I think... Oh, shh. Our blocking is, um... Needs to recover. I think that's a... A uh, legendary? Fable? Oh, fuck you, dude. Carrie needs to kill that thing. So that you can take care of the table. Man, she's just... Destroying this thing. Get my back. Smack it down. Yeah, I see. damage it does. The block is gone in like a second. I need to use the, um... Oh jeez. Oh fuck. Nope, can't be using that. 
That was bad times. That was real bad times. <gasps> no. Yo, dude, why? I'm really annoyed that this fucker was here. Mother... Can you hit this dude? Can you hit him? Can you hit him? Knock him down, please. Such bullshit. Man, this thing is annoying as fuck. Ow. See, the problem is we're also running out of food. Ah, this guy had to just third party us, didn't he? What an annoying shit. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's just get away from him. Get up. Oh, for fuck's sake. What a fucking piece of trash. Got our, all our crops on us. <sighs> okay, <laughs> all I really wanted was to get some fucking silver, and this giant dumb fight happened. Of course, there's no silver here, it's all gold. Is this gold? Yeah, this is all. What? Usually, we'll see one gold node amongst a bunch of silver nodes, but here it's all gold, and I I kinda wish we had a 200. I wish we could pick this. We got in a huge fight, so we can do nothing. Magic. Let's at least get us some trees. Do what we came here for, right? Let's track this sun giant. Hello, Mr. Sun Giant, sir. How are you doing? Can I... Ah. Uh, where is it? There you go. Thank you.
Take a bow, my friend. You hold the last piece of Nelly's puzzle. Do we now? There's more inside you now. The realms intoxicate your blood. Ah, yes. That same primordial bond with these wilds which called forth the nights of summers gone by. A part of you wishes to stay. Nevertheless, make way for the watch. Hush. Do you feel that? Byra's chill curls through the air. The hungry lion will roar, and her walls will behowl the moon. And we both know mankind fares ill in wintertide. Reach Nightingale before her resentful alabaster falls. Even Oberon shan't be able to protect you. Just uh, picking up the stuff that Giant decided to step on and break. Because why not? Ooh, there's more silver over there. Let's go grab that and go home. Grab it and go. Grab it and go. Do 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 do. We got plenty now, and we can just um, head on out of here. Just pop in, just like that. Didn't even fade in, nothing. She got to fade in. We didn't get to fade in, we just came fully formed out of the ether. Um, where are we at? Let's put away our crap. I thought I had more. And we are full. Let's take the bones out of here. It's time to start uh, specializing. I mean, specializing our containers. We start going tier three. We need to start having a spices uh, container, all that stuff. Let's go. Let's go talk to um to Nelly. She's in a desert or barren. Do we reset? Hmm. Nah, we don't reset. Let's just get in there. Decided to take a quick nap there. Came back. Um, have we spent enough time here? Do I want to? Hmm. I don't like. I don't like the chances of it. In case. In case. Things go wrong and we lose progress. Let's bring the palisadic with us, just in case. Because the last thing I want to do is like lose two of those. Because at this point, it's probably the most um, valuable thing we have. So let's hang on to it.
Huzzah. Okay, where was Nelly again? South west. That away. Alright, this guy. Alright, here we are back at Nelly Bly. Let's have a chat. I have retrieved the Placidic in Blah. I've retrieved the Pelicidic Pelicidic etched anchor. Pelicidic? That was weird. Pelicidia. You have it? I've never seen it myself. While I appreciate discretion, you should have approached waving a find like that in your hand. Well, I yeah. Yeah. Pass the ingot here, quickly now. I feel strangely chilled by looking at its surface. I can't fathom what it would be like to observe it in its raw state. Tell me, did the Sun Giants put up a fight? How did you not end up squashed like a worm? They're intelligent and open to trade. This should not be here anymore. Patch 1.3.2 said they got rid of this. You definitely didn't kill it, take a giant's life? That should not be there. Anyway, they're intelligent and open to trade. You traded with one? I'm dumbstruck by the possibility. Perhaps after this is all said and done, I'll write an article about your exploits. Of all the resources we needed, this was the one I, least confi I was least confident we could obtain. And here it is, our attunement conductor. We must, however, not get ahead of ourselves. There are still two missing resources we'll require if we have any chance of tinkering with that stabilizer. Oh, and this here is for you. From all of us. While altruism and exploration are the finest rewards for a, for a realm walker, don't pretend you weren't expecting some other recompense. We're nearly there. The watch is within reach. The only question is, can we grasp it? Only one way to find out? Um. Keep us in the convo, please. I've retrieved the Elder Jotun Heart. Don't yank this gal's chain. If you manage to come by such a rarity, don't make me beg to see it. Oh my stars. You've taken the soul right off my shoes. Just look at it, like staring into the eye of beauty herself. I must know the story of how you came to possess it. <laughs> they they do just about anything for fresh meat. I wouldn't have taken them to be carnivorous, but nothing is ever as it seemed in the realms. The druids will have a heyday with this knowledge. If I've done my work here, this heart should slot right into the stabilizer where the radium firebox used to be. You put a real dent in our mission, my friend. Only one more resource to go, mayhap you harbor the Geoarchanist soul after all. Oh, before I forget, while I was scavenging one of, our sur one of the survivors found an old Red Cross cache, we thought you'd be able to make better use of it than us. No sense lingering any longer. There's a new optimism in the air, just waiting to be seized. And seize it, we shall. Last one, I retrieved the automaton charm oil. You've really done it then? The charm oil is in your pack? Hand it here if you would, so I would, might keep it safe. Well, I'll be. This is a major step forward, I must say. I'm partly afraid to ask, but how did you manage to obtain it? A civil, if bizarre, trade. I wasn't sure if it was possible given how. Oddly, those automatons behave. What a mor marvel that must have been to see one up so close. Still, what matters most now... What matters is that now we've got our combustion fluid. In fact, it's the final piece of our portaling puzzle. I can hardly believe it, but you've done mighty fine collecting all the resources. Mighty fine indeed. The survivors here wanted to thank you for the burden of responsibility you've taken on. They pitched in and pooled their goods. This is for you, a token of our gratitude. Let's not lose the past now. We must keep on, ever vigilant, ever steady. On we go. Indeed, you must be. You must be proud of yourself. You're a real doer in desperate situation. Um, I trod the path that needed treading. Spoken like a bygone realm walker. Keep that tongue service up and you'll be the apple of Mr. Quartermain's eye. Quartermain's eye. Keep saying quarter. I don't know, like it's just... 
there. It's quaternary. Anyways. Next. Not everyone could persevere in these Feywilds as you have. Retrieving these fantastical resources proves your willingness to forge a better tomorrow. The way you went about this deed shows even greater courage. It shows diplomacy with these creatures. In doing so, you've delivered more than resources. You delivered hope. Not to me, but to all these aimless souls cast aside the def defining struggle of our era. Let's not dally any longer and have faith that this pile of rust will bring us to the watch. We will take a moment to fit everything into place. Okay, let's do this. What do we do about those who want to stay in the realms? Did we do this already? I think we already talked about this in a previous episode. Maybe not. I don't remember. Yes, some ignorant fools see these wilds as a fresh start, believe the loss of Earth is no loss at all. To them I say the realms are for exploring, not living, despite what some of my colleagues believe. Yeah, I think we've done this before. So let's do... Ah, let's just, let's just do them all. I just don't remember. How'd you end up in the realms? The same as anyone else, only the details differ. As a writer, don't you relish the details? Yeah, we've done this before. I remember this part. Well, we'll do it again anyways, why not? Aren't we a sly dog? If you insist on knowing, I had to leave Nightingale City a few months before the pale for reasons that I can't indicate for my own safety. I guess she'll talk about it anyways. Uh, back in New York, I convinced an editor at the, wor the World to allow me to attempt to trip around the Earth. However, my true intent was to uncover how far, how far certain unprincipled magical practices had spread on a global scale. By then, there had been rumblings about a portal disaster at the Paris Exposition Universelle. But what I could do, but what could I do from afar? So I left New York on November 14, aboard the Augusta Victoria, the only ship allowed to leave the harbor that day. It wasn't long before multiple cloud banks encroached from all sides, like horror incarnate. We had no choice but to correct course. The boat drifted into Nightingale Harbor a week later, with only a few crew and passengers left alive. As soon as I arrived, Quartermain, Victor, and I started plotting. The problem was that there were so many unknowns. No news had come from the realms, and no one who had fled to Nightingale through the realms had arrived. Quartermain had come across a realm in his travels that would make the perfect stronghold. Meanwhile, the druids, Cochlera, and Hermetics were planning to close the portals. Before we could even question the sanity of our mission, we were stepping through the fourth transept, and on the other side we found ourselves separated, but, but with little but a promise to meet again. <sighs> this is a lot of talking, sorry. There's going to be more in the next episode. How can you be sure Quatermain waits for us? I can't. But hope is not static, rather it is always aimed towards something. It is the North Star that guides our heart when all else fails, and mine tells me that Quatermain never misses his mark. And if you haven't noticed, the realms, our echoes, and for all their sound and fury, have a way of bringing humans together. Why put your life on the line for all these strangers? I can give you the moral answer, but that would be the obvious one. When it comes to survival, too many believe that they increase their odds by splitting from the group. Caring for one is simpler than caring for the many. But that's a one-way ticket. That's a one-way ticket. Oh, that's a one-way train ticket to insanity, though. Togetherness is another strategy, which coincides with my belief that a society is measured by its many drowned trodden, not its prosperous few. Heck yeah. You're able to fix it yourself? That's a weird thing to ask suddenly. I'll have you know I've patented several of my own inventions, and while my knowledge of these engines may not match dear victors, it's enough to get by in a pinch. Just a few moments more. 
that's interesting. Okay. I don't know if the actual real Nelly Bly was an engineer. But narratively, that's kind of stupid. They should just had an engineer character here to help her. Like, if, if they're going to be talking about a group of people getting together, don't have them be sitting around as nameless NPCs that just sit around. You know, like, have an engineer sitting here working on the engine. Have another engineer looking at the portal thing, making sure it's still working, like, all this stuff. Like, you know, like, tighten the narrative through that. Anyway, just a few moments more. The eel is heating. My god, does that stink, like a fisherman's corpse. And the attunement conductor appears to be facilitating the flow. I can hardly believe this is happening, but the stabilizer should spark up momentarily. Uh, one step closer to Nightingale. Time, dedication, and a teaspoon of patience. The ingredients for all life's cakes. Yeah? It's only right that you take the first step. If the danger has truly passed, the gate should recognize you're fit to enter. Just head straight down and you'll see the portal. On the other side, ensure you'll consult with Mr. Quatermain straight away. He'll want a word with an unsanctioned realm walker who helped reopen his stable connection. You're not coming, are you? Not just yet. My first concern is getting the others to safety. And there are countless souls still lost out there. They'll need someone to usher them on. Without you, this never would have been possible. Was it they say many hands make light work or something to that effect? All I ask in return is that you tell Mr. Quatermain that I'm still bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Janna hasn't got me yet. I'll see you in the watch, I hope. Sooner or later. Yes, yes. No need to milk this party for all it's worth. I already offered my overly sentimental thoughts. Your interrealmic chariot awaits, and that's one horse I wouldn't keep waiting. are on stalks. I admit, credence towards this ramshackled stabilizer wavered like wisps in sunlight. I won't dare set foot within the watch, but fret not. This isn't the last you'll see of Robin. I'll call when the time is nigh to fulfill your end of the bargain, as per our agreement. Everyone's all like, ooh, Puck is going to be evil. <laughs> no, Puck is going to want you to help them destroy the Winter Court. Like, you, like, as a player, like, as a, as a character, don't want to be doing that because they hate humans. And you're, he's basically going to ask you to do that as his part of the bargain. So he's not evil, he's just going to make you do something that you really, really don't want to do. But, I mean, it is for your own good, too, because... You know, Winter Court's against you. But, even though the, the game itself is hinting that the Winter Court might be responsible for the Pale, it doesn't actually mean they are. So, this might just be part of the whole court intrigues of the different courts messing with each other for power. So we'll see. We'll see what's going on, but my, my immediate knee-jerk reaction is he wants us to help the Summer Court diminish the Winter Court again. Whether or not it actually benefits us is to be seen, but that's my guess. Don't you recall pledging your troth? You made a commitment by accepting my aid. A contract was made, sealed by ancient words. Each kindness given must beget an equal one in turn. I have given many. And what value can be placed upon one's own mortal coil? Doubtless a question we will answer in time. 
I mean, we're not going to complain. We're, we're in this together. I feel like this is actually a team. For now. So, if fate's decree binds me, whatever, so, whatever, whatsoever, be time. How's this? Your lips yearn to part through my glamour. Indeed. How thou hast grown. Oh, don't give me that face. Have I not ushered you well, friend? And I'll continue doing so when Byra thaws from her throne. If we shadows have offended, think but this and all is mended. I need you in Nightingale as much as you long to be home. In return for my counseling, you will help me. Such were the terms of our contract. Know this. The path you walk leads to a place we both desire. Would that I could tell you this was a reverie, but you more than dream in our wilds. These are no mere visions that can disappear with a blink. As I am an honest puck, if we have an earned luck, now to scape the serpent's tongue, we will make amends ere long. Else the puck a liar call. So good night to winter's fall. Ready your hands if we be friends. In time, in time, we shall both restore amends. How ominous. But I think I'm gonna end the episode here for today. Yeah, we, we got all, quite a lot done. We're here at the portal, ready to go into the watch. That'll be in the next episode. And I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll catch you all later, alright? Peace.